Hello, this is Adam McCurdy with Xenos. Today I'm going to talk about ad hoc SNMP templates. Creating an ad hoc template or making ad hoc changes to existing templates is particularly useful for when you want to monitor something new, but don't necessarily want to create a new Zen pack. I'm going to talk about how to use SNMP to pull a particular data point. The example I've chosen is for a Cisco ASA firewall, and by default, Resource Manager gathers a handful of metrics pertaining to connections for these devices. However, we don't monitor the amount of connections that were attempted to be established, but decline due to the non-availability of resources. I'm going to start by looking at my ASA firewall in my environment. As you can see, we have an existing template with a number of different data points. I found the correct way to poll to gather the information about the global number of connections that have been de declined due to resource constraints. So let's add an SNMP data source using the plus button. And the naming convention we're using here is the name of the OID provided by the MIB. So I'm going to paste that in there. Our type is SNMP. Now that we've got our data point created, we can go in and double click it to enter the OID. So let's save that. Now it's worth mentioning that uh, Xenos uses SNMP get and not SNMP walk, so we need to be precise and give it the, the absolute path to this OID. It needs to be a, a particular counter. We can't give it a table here. So if we were to look at the MIB, we would actually see that this data point should be a counter. Xenos created it as a gauge by default. Let's change that by editing our data point. Now, the two most common types of data points used in Xenos are counters and gauges. A counter is a number that steadily increases over time. A gauge is a reading taken at a particular point in time. It could go up or it could go down. Think of a counter as like the odometer in your car and think of a gauge as your engine's temperature sensor. Your odometer is only going to go up over time and your temperature sensor could go up or down. Now with 64-bit counters, our counter is going to roll back down to zero at around nine quadrillion, two to the 63rd power. Uh, this MIB also says that this counter is going to reset to zero when the device is rebooted. So let's account for this by setting the RRD minimum to zero. So when it rolls, we'll d just discard that value. Now that data point isn't incredibly useful unless we have a graph or a threshold. And since I'm unfamiliar with this value and kind of want to establish a baseline, I'm going to create a graph so I can keep an eye on it and potentially someday establish a threshold. To add a graph, let's click the plus sign by graph definitions. Let's call it global connections denied. Once we've got our graph definition created, we can choose to manage graph points. Let's add a data point and we're going to choose our data point that we created and save that. Now we've added a graph to our device. Now if we click on graphs and scroll on down, we'll see our new graph. Let's give it some time to collect and check on it in a few minutes. Okay, so a little over 10 minutes have passed and now we have graph data. If you want more information on creating SNMP templates, including tools like Zenpack Lib and SMI Dump, there's some good documentation over on our Zenpack SDK website at zenpack-sdk.xenos.com. I've included a link for you in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.